on the internet after what feels like a very long winter I think spring is finally here it's a beautiful day there's daffodils and blossom everywhere and I feel inspired to make a little mini quilt in celebration of spring <laughs> got a vague idea of what I want to do. I've been thinking about log cabin variations and I think if I turned a log cabin on point I could make something vaguely like an iris. I'll want to snowball the corners on the flower part to make the petals and I want to give the leaves a bit more shape so I'm gonna to have to piece those strips. I don't think I want to use setting triangles, so I'm not going to construct the full log cabin because then I'll just want to trim too much of it off. So I'm going to start reducing the length of the strips to fit the shape that I want to end up with. I've got no idea if this is going to work, but I think if it does, it's going to have a cool effect. It's going to be fun trying anyway. Now I just need to work out what size to make the strips. Okay, time to pick out some fabrics. Of course I'm going to make it scrappy. So I'm going to want some purples for the flower, some greens for the leaves, and I think to keep it really fresh, I'm going to give it a white background. Well, low volume at least. And now it's really just like making a log cabin. And that's the centre done. I think it looks pretty good. I was going to trim the block before adding the borders, but it occurs to me that that would make all of the edges on the bias. So instead, what I'm going to do is just mark out where the cut line would be, and then sew on the first border to stabilise it, and then I'll trim it after that. Hopefully this will work. This is a good trick for visualising how wide you want your border to be. Lay out your border fabric and put your centre on top of it. Then you can slide the centre back and forth to try out wider or narrower borders and see what looks best. There's a lot going on with the fabric, so I decided to keep the quilting pretty simple. I stitched big flower petals and leaves over the flower, loosely following the log cabin sections. Then, to make the flower stand out more, I stitched closely spaced wavy lines over the background. And I put some leaves and vines in the border. And finally, a dark green binding to pull in the leaf colours. And it's done! Well, it took a bit longer than I planned and spring is a bit further along now, but I finally finished it. I'm quite pleased with my little quilt, I think it's really pretty. It was fun to make and it's bright and cheerful, which is what I wanted. And technically it's still spring. Look, I even managed to find a tree still in blossom to hang the quilt in. Don't forget to do all those nice internety things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Kakite anō internet.